Chris Irving, otherwise known as Dr. J, was one of the legends in the game of basketball, both in the ABA and NBA, winning championships in both leagues. He was one of the most fascinating, high-flying figures whose dunks were as flashy as they were polarizing. In honor of his Hall of Fame career, these are the 10 greatest Dr. J moments. Number one, college career. Julius Irving's story would not start in high school, but on the courts of Rucker Park, where he would rule the park with his amazing moves, drawing crowds at every game he played. After graduating high school, Irving enrolled at the University of Massachusetts in 1968. In his two varsity college basketball seasons, he averaged 26 points per game with 20 rebounds per game becoming one of the only six players to average more than 20 points and 20 rebounds per game in NCAA men's basketball history. Number 2. ABA Championships Julius Irving would spend the first five years of his career in the ABA, two with the Virginia Squires and three with the New York Nets. As a rookie, Dr. J would average 33 points per game and 20 rebounds. In 1974, he would win a ABA championships for the New York Nets, defeating the Utah Stars, averaging 27 points per game. Irving also won the last championship in the ABA, Existence, in 1976, averaging 34 points and 12 rebounds, this time in the playoffs. Number 3, 1976 ABA Slam Dunk Contest. Our number 3 moment stays in the ABA, where Dr. J would perform in the ABA Dunk Contest with other ABA All-Stars, many who also had long NBA careers like George Gerving, Artis Gilmore, and David Thompson. In this dunk contest, Julius Irving would unleash high-flying dunks never seen before, including the free throw line dunk famously duplicated by Michael Jordan. Number 4. The 1977 NBA Finals while Julius Irvin would only win one NBA championship, he would make the finals many times and performed well during them. During the 1977 NBA Finals, the Philadelphia 76ers would face the Portland Trailblazers. While Dr. J would have many highlight plays during the series, in Game 6 threw down a vicious slam dunk over Bill Walton, one of the best centers at the time. This dunk is considered by many to be one of the strongest dunks ever attempted, considering he ran full court with all five defenders running with him. Number 5. MVP Awards Dr. J was dominant in both the NBA and ABA, winning the ABA Most Valuable Player Award three times from 1973 to 1976, and also winning the NBA Most Valuable Player in 1981.
valuable player of this All-Star game, accepting the trophy from Commissioner Larry O'Brien. Our number six moment comes from the 1980 NBA Finals. Julius Irvin would match up against the Los Angeles Lakers and Magic Johnson, while the Sixers would go on to lose the series, and one of the most memorable players in Game 4, Dr. J executed a seemingly impossible finger roll behind the backboard play over the 7-2 center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This move, along with his free throw line dunk, has become one of his most signature events of his career. Number 7. The 1983 Season During the 1983 season, Dr. J would have one of his best seasons, where Irving would perform one of the most memorable plays during the final moments of a regular season game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Irving would perform a dunk better described as the Rock the Baby Slam dunk over the Laker defender Michael Cooper, one of the most polarizing dunks in NBA history. And you know what? If you're going to get dunked on by anyone, why not let it be the best in the game? Number 8. NBA Champion 1983. During the 1983 season, after many chances, Julius Irving would finally become an NBA champion when the 76ers acquired the all-star Moses Malone. Dominating the regular season, the 76ers would go on to lose just one game in the playoffs and sweeping the Lakers in the championship. I look at the guys who I played with and the files that we went to, and I don't know. The thing about this team that they should be remembered for is they've been knocked down a lot. They've been criticized in every way, every shape, every form possible. And keep on doing it, and doing it, or climbing the mountain. Number 9. Scoring. Dr. J was one of the most unguardable players in both the ABA and the NBA, with his highest scoring season being in 1976 with 34 points per game. He won multiple scoring titles in both leagues, and his career high is 63 points. He ranked 6th all-time in scoring in the NBA. Number 10. Impact on the game. Dr. J was the inventor of many of the dunks and plays we see in today's NBA. He paved the way for many athletes as his play translated from the ABA to the NBA. He was still one of the league's most dominant and polarizing figures. And those are the 10 greatest moments from Julius Irving. What is your favorite moment from Dr. J? Leave it in the comment section below, but until then, it's been your boy, Johnny Walker LA, and I'm out.